Welcome back to Silent Hill Origins. Just a quick follow-up to something we talked about in the last episode before I get going proper. Um, last episode I talked about how I thought I was missing something when it comes to like kicking or finishing off enemies that are downed on the ground. And I found a couple things talking about that online, but neither of them were consistent with each other. And they also didn't match what I had already experienced. So I'm going to go with this one over everything else that I've heard. There's a tips section in the main menu of the game, and there's actually one that actually talks about this. Um, to perform a finishing move, release the R1 and press X when in front of the fallen enemy. So R1 is the combat stance button. You got to hold that down if you want to be using a weapon or even your fists. So release it and press X. Now, normally I try to press X after I've released the button, but maybe you have to press X like right after releasing the button. So I'm going to try that. But anyway, to get to the episode proper, let's load our state here. So we have just arrived at Cedar Grove Sanitarium for unknown reasons. I know Lisa is supposed to be here. I don't see why that would make us want to come here, though. Unless Travis is just really, really horny. It's possible. So let's explore this absolutely colossal place. I don't want to go down to a different floor. So let's avoid the stairwell for now. I've already got so much to explore here. Storage. Stacks of medical records are not my sort of thing. Oh, target pistol ammo. Screwdriver. Energy drink. More target pistol ammo. Fire iron? Sweet. Is that everything? I think so. Okay. Screwdriver is probably a terrible weapon, I would think. These others aren't bad, though. So, how do I load this thing? Okay, just try to shoot and it loads it. Six shots. Per Magazine? What is a target pistol, by the way? Let's look at the description for it. The kind of thing you see on a gun range, it stings more than it bites. Oh. Hmm. So can it even kill an enemy? Is it even worth using? I'm going to try it out on the next enemy I see and just see how effective it is. Look at that, that's interesting. I've never seen that on a map before in any of the Silent Hills. It shows you not only is it locked, but I think this arrow is telling me that I can unlock it from the other side. Huh, cool. Um, we can go back and, well, we came from the lobby, but we can go back and check out the doctor's office, patient belongings. Hmm. That stuff's probably closed. I'll go back there at some point. Let's go down the stairs. Up or down? Let's see, what is it? Oh my god, it's just as big on the top floor. That's a weird basement. That's a very bizarre, but at least it's a lot smaller. Let's go down.
Target pistol ammo. Oh, another wrench. Oh. I guess we're going up then. we go. You some sort of shadow creature? So it took a whole magazine. Okay. Well, I don't know how strong the things normally are, though. Never encountered one before. Let's go with this. My trusty filing cabinet. I really wish my flashlight pointed up more. Okay, so that time when I deliberately pressed R1 and then released it and immediately pressed X, it worked right away. Full of rubbish. Whoa, shotgun ammo. I guess I'm getting that soon. Alcohol bottle? I seriously can't believe how big this place is. I mean, I guess they could make it so that you can't explore most of it. I mean, just because it's on the map doesn't mean you necessarily can go there. But we'll see. My third wrench. Travis has got strength, but not stamina. So, where do I go from here? To the left, staff lounge. To the SD. I don't know what SD stands for. Sanitarium department. Once again, it definitely seemed to work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it seems like that's the key. You have to press X immediately after releasing your attack button. It feels awful. That feels like a terrible way to do it. I really don't like that. Because then I have to artificially, like, press down the button and wait, and it's just... It's so clunky. I don't understand why that's a thing. Wow, that range. How are we doing on health? Uh, let's take a... Let's take a potion. <laughs> oh yeah, we got three of them now. Nice. Another one? There we go. Let's examine our target ammo. 22 caliber bullets for use in a target pistol. Shotgun shells loaded with a buckshot. No! I meant to examine my medical kit, but I used it instead, because for these items, examine is the first option on the top, so it's by default the first one selected, but for the medical kit, the first one selected, just like any consumable like this, is the use instead of the examine. Well, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, I never checked out this office back here. Now I'm never going to know it's an SD. What the hell does it stand for? Uh. Is this a, I don't know, like a hyperbaric chamber or something? In light of the recent accident, I am barring the use of the iron lung equipment. Yeah, it is. This applies to all staff, including senior nurses. Patient deaths during therapy are not to be treated lightly. I find it hard to believe that someone could accidentally overload every valve on the equipment. And so, until the inquiry has concluded, I must assume the equipment itself is at fault. These precautions are essential. We owe a duty of care to all of our patients, even the difficult ones. An iron lung is a type of hyperbaric chamber, right? Huh, I googled it for a couple of minutes and actually didn't find a clear answer. So maybe hyperbaric chamber is not the same, or maybe an iron lung is not a type of hyperbaric chamber. I'm not sure. I can see something metal inside through the window. Ah, I gotta get in there to get a key. Oh my god, Travis. I swear to god. It's the weird, it's the camera relative movement, but I don't know, there's something, there's something that they did wrong with the camera relative movement that makes it so much worse than in Silent Hill 4. Silent Hill 4, it was really nice. But there's something about like the way when you switch screens, the way the controls work doesn't feel right. I'm trying to figure out what exactly. I don't know, I really can't pinpoint it exactly. But it's just something about it makes me do these weird things where when I go to an area like this and I try to move, I just end up like spinning around in a circle. Because the direction that I was moving is now a different direction because the camera's moved. And just something about how it switches. And maybe it also has to do with how the character is very slow to turn around. Something just makes that very bad. It does... 
I don't know if you've ever noticed, but there's something that's commonly done with games like this where you have camera relative movement and you have a camera that changes its perspective. A pretty common thing to try to reduce the disorientation and going the wrong way is if you're moving in a certain direction and then the, the camera changes, usually what happens, and it is the case here as well, is if you don't change the direction that you're moving, you will continue to run in the current direction that you were going before the camera changed. So like here, I'm gonna press forwards. I'm just holding it. Well, okay, that didn't work. There. I'm just holding it in a single direction. It kind of moved me in a weird way, but notice I keep going in that direction when I go through the camera. I don't know why I'm like turning slowly, that's weird but it holds that direction unless you change it. So it'll snap to the second camera's relative movement if you change basically anything. So if you keep going the exact same direction, it'll keep the old camera's movement, but if you change even slightly, like, like if I go here and then go boop, to change it a couple degrees on the stick, then it moves relative to the new camera. So there's a little bit of like stickiness there but this game has that, so that's not a problem. Looks like this hasn't been used in a long time. Archive Library Admin. Hmm. So where do I go from here? Oh, I can look at the control panel for the iron lung after I took the little note off of it. Oh, I think this is my first real puzzle. Well, no, we had the like plastic body parts thing. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's one of these. I think this is going to do it when I press this one more time. I'm guessing it's going to overpressurize the thing and cause the glass to explode so I can get the key. Something got spat out of the iron lung. Coughed it up. Oh, yeah, I didn't break the glass or anything. Basement key. Yay, we're going to the basement. Oh, there's enemies out here. New ones. Okay, there's no reason to fight them, right? I mean, I might as well just run. What's the point? Yeah, let's just get to the stairs. What was that? That's a new creature. Does it not want to attack me? It wasn't too bad. I'm surprised it didn't get me sooner. Like, it tried to attack me sooner. I mean, there's no way it was a nice creature. 
so I don't feel bad about attacking it. Wait, is this where I came from or what? Which, which way are we going? Yeah, that's where I came from. Got a couple doors back here though. Got no idea what this gauge is telling me if it's even working. Looks like a sewage outflow. All the sewage from the pipes drains down here. It stinks to high heaven. Probably supposed to do something with this at some point, but I don't think I have the things to do anything with it just yet. Oh, that's the stairs. That's where I came from, right? Wait, does that say stairs? It does, but wait, what? That's the huge diagonal thing. How is this stairs? Now these are actually stairs. Let's not go up just yet. Where's that going to take us, by the way? It'll take us over here. Female sick ward, female ward A. Okay. So it's either up there or over here to all these storage places, which are very possibly locked. Ooh. Oh, just an old rusty fuse box. I thought it was a note. Okay, let's go up. Ugh. Something real wrong with the controls. I could keep going up even. This, I, I can't believe how big this place is. I feel like this is going to be half the game or something. Because I know it's not a very long game. You know, Travis, you wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't come to the sanitarium for absolutely no reason at all. Oh, my God. 
Hot bath, anyone? The hydrotherapy bath must be broken because the water is boiling. There's a key at the bottom, but there's no way I can reach it without scalding myself. Okay, so I gotta cool it down. There's a drainage control here. Should I press the button? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's probably caught in the sewer drain thing now, right? Bath is draining the key that was in has been sucked down the plug hole. Look at this trail leading to or from this bath here. And by the way, I think I know what ECT stands for. That's probably, is it electroconvulsion therapy or something like that? Not a good practice. All right, cool. Oh, I did it. Heck yeah. I don't know what the point of these strong attacks are. The enemies just latch onto you before you're even in range to use them. It's not worth it. Oh, right. I'd use my med kit. <laughs> Alright, two health drinks then. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, are they- I just realized this place is already unbelievably huge. Are they gonna make me go through it again in the other world? Maybe this level is the entire game. Alright, ICU and prep room. I should go check out. Right, it came from the stairs, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, uh, let's go to the basement and see if we can find that key that was flushed down the drain. Hmm. No key. Strange. Maybe it kept going down? And there's some way for me to go deeper? Well, while I'm back here, let's check the storage room and this other doorway. That goes on to the rest of this place. Ah, oh, it works. Hmm. So then what do I do? Go on here or go back up and go into the mirror? Let's continue on this way.
Can't see anything of interest. Judging by the dust on these things, I'm not the only one. Target pistol ammo. Oh, whoa. Drip stand? What? <laughs> oh, like IV drip. Oh my god, that's so big. Is that how tall they normally are? <laughs> Holy crap, well that's got some range. Oh, it's only half durability. Oh, and the charge-up attack is like a big stab forwards. Sweet. I'm just gonna take this thing every everywhere. <laughs> Boiler room down here. So many weapons. Jagged wood. Not good wood, but... Eh. They've given me a surprising amount of target pistol ammo. Okay, so end of the line, huh? Yep. Okay, let's head back to that mirror. Other world time. <laughs>